welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Brunch and Munch, our first deck of the day. This one's pretty silly. We're playing a deck built around the Shadow Isles card Possession, a card that's honestly really, really good. This is going to be um, the key part of our deck. So steal an enemy, follower this round, and you can't play it, of course, if you already have a full board, but you get to steal an enemy follower this round. If this wasn't follower, if this was just steal any enemy, this would be a very highly played card. This card would be really good if you could steal champions, um, but you know, you can't steal champions. Um, the difference between only followers and, champ and being able to target followers or champions with cards is huge. Like, for example, think about how good Hush is, and Hush is played everywhere. Yet, then also think about um, the Demacia card that I just can't quite remember right now, Purify. You know, Purify costs the same, and it does the same thing as Hush, but it doesn't target champions. But it's also, it's, you know, for good and not in just until end of turn. And basically nobody plays Purify, and Hush is everywhere, you know, for, you know just as an example there. But anyway, we still get to steal enemy followers this round. All right, so what? So how's that going to help us? So we're going to try to steal their follower, and then we're going to eat it up. We need it. We're going to have some brunch. We're going to munch on it for brunch, brunch and munch. All right, you know we'll have our bayou, our bayou brunch. So we can once we once we uh, take it with possession, then we use bayou brunch to um, capture it and put it onto another ally. Um, so we give the stats to another ally. And then once that ally dies and the original thing that we brunched and stole that follower, whenever it comes back, it will come back under our control because we were the ones that had it with the possession whenever we brunched it away. So we'll be able to keep the unit with that. But we also have a lot of other cool things we can do with possession. Uh, we can have crumble. We can, uh, for 10 mana, we can steal one of their followers and then we can kill it and kill a unit or destroy a landmark so we can destroy champions or landmarks. Another way that we can kind of destroy champions is we can use Hired Gun. We can use Hired Gun to give um, a champion, you know, maybe their, their champion's the strongest enemy at some part of the game, like where we Hired Gun, make it vulnerable, and then we steal something else, and then we have the, the other thing that we just stole um, challenge the thing that we gave vulnerable. So, you know, we can, we can combine Hired Gun and Possession um, and... Uh, you know, basically use it as a removal spell for the thing that we steal, plus do a bunch of damage to the thing that we, to the thing that we made vulnerable, and make good attacks with everything else. We can also just kill it right away. We have Ancient Crocolith that we can take it and then play an Ancient Crocolith to kill two allies, or for zero mana, take it and play a Ravenous Butcher to kill it right away. So we can turn it into five mana Vengeance, right? If we just steal it and then play a Ravenous Butcher, we can also kill it right away with Glimpse Beyond. And draw two cards, so seven total mana like a vengeance, but we also get to draw two cards with that combination. Um, and then besides that, uh, so that, that's kind of about it there. We also have Atrocity. If it's something really big, we can kill it and then do a bunch of damage to our opponent. And um, so that's, that's kind of cool there too. As far as the brunch goes, we are going to be combining the Bayou Brunch with Zap Sprayfin. So Zap Sprayfin will be able to draw Bayou Brunch a good amount of the times because we're only going to have Bayou Brunch and then Stalking Shadows and Glimpse Beyond is our only spells to draw. So we'll draw Bayou Brunch a good amount of times. And then Sprayfin's also important because Sprayfin has Elusive. So, we, you know, we want to, because with the Bayou Brunch, you want to grow, you know, you're going to be growing something. And so we can make the Elusive larger. So, you know, we can take whatever we steal, put its stats on the, on the Sprayfin that's Elusive. And that can be pretty cool there. Crocolith plus Callista is going to be a pretty good combo where the Crocolith will like help us really help us level up the Callista. And then whenever we attack with Callista, like if we have a dead Crocolith, putting that back into play, putting a 7 7 back into play is going to be good. Um, but there we go. That's our deck. So it's Brunch in Munch. And you know, we also have like the Ledros Atrocity combo to help finish games too. So we'll give it a try. It'll be fun. It, you know, who knows if this is going to be like, you know, if, this, if we're going to win a bunch of games with this, but hopefully we get to do some cool things with possession and uh, have some cool games. Okay, Vladimir Brom. They could have like a really big Scar Mother that we could steal. All right, we're going to have the attack token on turn three with, with uh, Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker with that combo. And then we also can draw multiple cards with Stalking Shadows and Glimpse Beyond. So I think that this looks like a good hand to keep. 
I've got these. This guy looks like he's munching. <laughs> it looks like he likes a good brunch. See, hmm. This whole blighted caretaker thing of going on this unscarred reavers doesn't actually seem that good. Maybe let's just sacrifice this and get the 4-3 and draw two. We do have the we have the two crumbles in our deck. If we would draw that, that would be able to take down this scar grounds. Blade Squire has made Warden's Prey worse. That's a below average hit. Let's just pass. Okay, hired gun. So I can go possession, steal curator, and then caretaker it away. Maybe. Yeah, I guess he could we could reforge the overwhelm blade fragment for our ledger, so I guess that would be pretty cool. Much obliged. Thanks for coming over and I'd never keep my guests waiting. Yeah, man, these... Uh, 30 health. That's so rough, though, with the, all these bl Blighted Caretakers. 3 health's pretty rough. So my options, I can I can go Hired Gun into the Vladimir and just attack into the Vladimir. Whoa, fresh soil. This Vladimir hurts. It's like, is this even worth it? Because they're going to be able to, to attack with the Vladimir. These are all going to gain tough in the plus one, plus zero anyway. Because if I don't make if I don't make this attack and just leave these as O threes, then whenever Vladimir attacks and does one damage to them, they turn into two two health with tough. So at least now they're one health with tough, so I can have two power things trade with them. Well, it does level up Vladimir though. Oh, I didn't think about that. Like now I can't. I actually can't kill Vladimir. One suffers, another thrives. My so they're doing that before the Vladimir ability so that they get to drain with this now. This is outrage. Give them a chance. So that I go to 9, this I go to 8. So I only save one life, but I guess I might as well just... I'm only saving one life, might as well try to kill this thing. Actually, wait. How big was this? That thing was going to be eight, an eight one. Okay, now that thing's going to be big, eight one. Okay, that's actually kind of good. For, wait, so I can I can go possession, steal this, and then vulnerable the Vladimir, and then have this thing kill the Vladimir. Okay, this is actually going to work out pretty well for me. So we're going to do that next turn. So this turn, um, let's see, could probably save some spell mana. Let's just play this. Get a spray fin. I play spray fin. We have one extra mana. Next turn, four, five, six, seven. So we have eight total mana. This only costs seven, so we'll be good there. But yeah, we can play a spray fin. Oh. Wow, I 
could try to set up atrocity. <laughs> but no, I want to kill this Vladimir. Thank you. So many coins and carnage. The Scar Maidens will know my name through the coral. <laughs> That's such a mean combo. <laughs> we just took out their 12 1 and, and their Vladimir. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, get out there to block Squire. That's pretty awesome. What's up, M Thor? What do we get? We got Overwhelm. Okay. We got Overwhelm. I think I just saved the four spell mana. Ledros, Overwhelm. Okay, there we go. GG's. Got the, got the first one. Dude, Possession was amazing. That, that card is so good. Fiora Zoe. Okay, so Fiora Zoe... They sometimes use the the one two with uh, life steal, and they make that thing really big, the elusive. And maybe we can use possession on that. Um, I think this is just kind of a keep. There we go. There's possession. Because unfortunately we can't we can't steal Fiora with this, right? So that's a problem. But we have Crumble that can kill Fiora, as long as they don't have Bastion. We're going to hopefully draw Blighted Caretaker. That would be the best possible draw step right now, Blighted Caretaker. Hired Gun's not bad either, though. Hired Gun's not bad either, though. Get bloody, I'll just get play that immediately. Thought about playing Stalking Shadows and then passing and seeing what they spent their mana on and then doing this, but we'll just do this immediately. Mm, no, we should save Clumps Beyond. And I honestly don't really mind that, because like I think that we're still going to be able to kill the Zoe, I think. You know, with challenging with this. There's the Caretaker. Need you the last turn, Caretaker. And I want to save Glimpse Beyond because of Fiora, right? Because this can cancel out Fiora kills. Only revenge. Well, that's what we have. We have, yeah, we have higher gun and crumble. So I'm, I'm playing crumble instead of vengeance. Same kind of thing. Alright, Sprayfin will be able to block.
Yeah, we got more spray fins to block. That's another cool thing about stalking shadows is like the ephemeral thing is, is another good thing for you to buy you brunch away. Alright, so a 4-3 is the biggest thing for Callista. Kind of want to just glimpse beyond this higher gun. Yeah, I'm going to just do that. Just use spell mana before playing the spray fin. We have, we'll have eight, if I play this, that's eight cards right there, so that means we'd gain two other cards. Um, so I guess I would have to play higher gun. Alright, so we'll just wait, we just waste one mana, but oh well. Another crumble. Laurent's are born, we play I just have one possession right now. Maybe they're thinking about whether or not to use Bastion. Okay, so we know they have Bastion in hand. Okay, they are going to use Bastion. Alright, since they're using Bastion, I'm going to go with Caretaker. Everyone's a god. And have these Saplings Challenge. That'll be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 damage. Got to figure out how to do five more. So it's a slow process, but I may want to just play Curse Keeper and then Crumble to get rid of the Spell Shield, the Elusive, and then try to Crumble again the next turn. Or I just don't worry about it and I just go wide with Caretaker and Challengers and all that kind of stuff. And that may be the better course of action. I'll just leave with Curse Keeper, let's see what they do. So if this spray fin dies, we get a new spray fin. Kind of going with that. There you are. Love the Callista draw, of course. We'll do this first. And I I don't think the other spray fin would be ephemeral anymore. I think it would just be regular spray fin. <clears throat> well, that's really annoying. Gives all those things lifesteal. That may win him this game. That, what a great Behold the Infinite, getting that lifesteal. Great Behold the Infinite. Yeah, it won't be ephemeral. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, I didn't I wouldn't think I didn't think it did. Would make it. Which is why I wanted to go with that. Okay. That's I mean that's good for me. It's single combat is the card that will save them. We grow up so 
Oh, this thing has life steal also. Our vengeance has burned long enough. Act now. No further. So I gotta hope no single combat. Cause I'm gonna glimpse I'll glimpse beyond my Callista so they don't heal their Nexus. So they're at five, so they'll take the eight. Hopefully they just have all, like, you know, buff spells and protection spells for them. This still gets through, like, a guiding touch. No, they had single combat. Yeah, that was, that was the only card that saved them. Now it's, it's probably over now, but... That was the only card that saved them. They already played one, they need a second one. My light shines. We live here. So life total is way back up here, but remember we are a Ledros deck. So we can get that life total back down if we find Ledros. Let's go ahead and lead with the Stalking Shadows. Okay, and we will do that. We will take Ledros. I guess they just have two Relentless Pursuits in hand. Lame. Hush and Frostbite, two cards that are really important right now. These suit up Fiora decks are really popular, where you just, or sorry, uh, Zoe decks are really popular, where you just have like Zoe and then one huge threat, whether it's Zoe. Zoe Fiora is very popular, and Zoe Lee Sin very popular. So, like, if I was like playing just like rank up decks right now, Frostbite and Hush are two things that are very valuable. Okay. Ancient Crocolith is very big against scouts. That is good. We don't really want a second Ancient Crocolith, and I don't think I start with the Bayou Brunch. The Prey and Curse Keepers will be good to Snackrifice. We'll get our Snackrifice on. They never stop! Because we munch in at brunch. Which we had the attack token turn four, but we didn't. We can go, you know, like three curse keeper or turn two curse keeper. Turn three prey and keeper. And then turn four crocolith. Just gonna get the two damage in before they get a better blocker. I guess I could have gotten an additional two points of damage in. Store the rations, shackle the prisoners. Those bullets are blood.
Oh, Grand Plaza, you so fair. Kind of. Okay, not using Relentless Pursuit. So I want to go Blighted Caretaker. Which means I guess I, I actually cannot play Cursed Keeper. I'll get I guess I go with the Fortune Croaker. And then Caretaker away Fortune Croaker. It's either, you know, it's that or the Grenadier. Um But I don't know if I want to do like a point of damage to any of these, so I guess maybe it is the Grenadier. Because if I go Curse Keeper, we just lose out on the 4-3. We don't get the 4-3. Everyone's a garden. Alright, so we'll block the 7-7 seven, seven and take 10. Go to 6. But of course, they're going to have double plaza. And they'll be killing all my stuff. This next turn. This double plaza, not exactly fair. Not exactly fair. Bless is motion. Still a little early in the season for rank up Sunday. Don't exactly, you know, we're still exploring and everything. We'll probably have rank up Sunday next Sunday. So it's possible, if I don't play anything, it's possible to just make me waste the 6 mana. I don't want them to do that, so I'm going to just play the, play the Curse Keeper. Okay, and they are going to kill the Curse Keeper this time. Alright, it's not the Crocolith. Probably the Croaker. Maybe it's the higher gun. If I kill you, I don't fuck you, stupid. All right, I'm gonna go. Show them what we're made of. Here, take her that thing. Just challenge both of these. I know I could challenge the 8 8, but yeah, like. Maybe it's better to challenge those, though. Alright, doesn't matter. They didn't have any spell to keep us from winning right there. Alright, Zoe Fior. This was our loss that we had a little bit ago. I like Warden's Prey a bunch, but it's also very easy to kill. Now I wish I had that Warden's Prey. It's like the two champion, you know, like we we're gonna have like a higher gun for one champion. Um, don't really have anything for the other. We're gonna have this possession plus Ravenous Butcher combo. Get you notice around here. This doesn't look great for me right now. No, the chain vest. The chain vest is a beating. Alright, it doesn't look very great for me. Right now at all. Gotta go 
That was definitely something I was going to struggle against, was just a, an all-in Fiora hand. And that, that's all they're going to have, is just an all-in Fiora. So. See, this... I was hoping they'd have, yeah, like, all-in Sparklefly. Now we're talking... Yeah, I can deal with Sparklefly. The finest blades for my. I need only one to win. For silver, I die. For gold, I lease it. I never hold back. Oh God! Try me. So, of course, I'd like to find uh, Crumble. Alright, cool. Got a single combat out of their hand. That's good. Because single combat is a card that would stop Crumble. Alright, got two of them out of their hand. Only three cards left. Uh, we did play Zoe Leeson yesterday. I'm not super impressed with Zoe Leeson or honestly Zoe Fiora. I don't. I don't love either deck, but I mean they're you know I'm I'm playing like this little janky meme tier deck. I mean it's it's great here, but I just I don't really like these kind of decks that are. Um, very, very easy to hate out if you want to, right? Like, if you want to build a deck that beats Fiora and Zoe, you can. If you want to beat a deck that beats Go Hard, that's a lot more difficult, right? Like, that's why Go Hard is such a good deck. But, like, this kind of deck, it's, it's pretty cheesy. It's pretty easy to to build a deck, you know, with, with Frostbite and, and Hush and uh, the kind of interaction that you need. But I don't have it here, so... The same same kind of thing with Lee Sin. Lee Sin isn't You can you can build decks that beat Lee Sin. So possession only leaves me with three mana, not enough for Crocolith. What am I doing? Oh that only left me with three mana, not enough for Crocolith either. That was the whole point, is I was going to do that and then, and then Crocolith. Man, I, yeah, that was just a waste. Sorry, I was just, yeah, I don't know. I got... Unfortunately, their spell to save the Sparklefly was that tough. I was hoping they were going to use some kind of spell that would have been good with the Fiora. Um, but they just, you know, they were able to use that card. Alright, so I gotta get this Crocolith in play. find like warden spray stalking shadows warden spray sack both of those crocolith crocolith challenge fiora <laughs> hope they don't have Something that protects... Oh, one mana short from this Commander Ledros. That would have been good. Okay. 
Okay. So I have a plan. What does he want from me? <laughs> Got some sharks. Oh yay, same deck. Um I mean this hand's okay. I don't necessarily hate anything in this hand. If they if they just have the exact same thing, if they just go Fiora and protect Fiora, I'm gonna lose. But that doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna have that. But if they do, I'm gonna lose. No, it's not necessarily to get more variety and I mean, well, well, I guess you do. You're probably going to get more variety than normal, yes, but um, you don't always just get the exact same decks like we have been getting today. That's kind of an, an anomaly. Uh, that's, you know, the same deck three out of five games. You're going to see some different stuff. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Alright, so my plan here is to be able to combine the Vulnerable with Black Spear. Challenging with the 4-3 so that uh, Chain Vest doesn't keep Fiora alive. Still have to deal with Zoe. Maybe Blighted Caretaker can do that. Maybe Sprayfin can block a little bit. Gosh, they just have everything. Possible to kill this card. happy with that. So maybe we draw possession. I don't know if I can block, let's see, if I if I block Mentor, they get the three gems, they can heal their Fiora. I don't know if I, I guess I, I guess I kind of have to block the Mentor though. Got some fighting, yeah. Okay, yeah, I guess I kind of have to. Keeping the three one alive to be able to challenge Fiora, but that that three one being a um, Right, I'm not leveling up Callista. Never mind. I, I was thinking that I was gonna be, you know, like bring some of Callista, but we're not. We're not bringing some of Callista. This will be quick. 
Alright, well they again have the single combat to stay alive. Like the first time we played the deck. But maybe we can draw possession. That would be pretty cool. Alright, we'll get spray thin for some more blockers. And, you know, just card draw and everything. Crumble. Strength and grace, beauty Be a good one. Is blade. Keep up, keep up. Strike quickly, try me. That'll put them both to one health, which is a good number with Blighted Caretaker. And, and I'm going to bank three spell mana. Alright, straw possession. Not yet. Everyone's a garden. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. On card. Yes, they're going to, they're going in on the sparkle fly. I wonder if they have Bastion. It's possible they don't. That is a possibility. No Bastion. Okay. I'm not sure why I would think it would be a realistic possibility. Alright, so my plan is... Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm not, I'm not playing around Rally by playing the blocker. Um, well, my plan is just, you know, take out half of their life total here, go Curse Keeper next turn for some challengers. There you are. And then I'll, you know, if this doesn't, if it doesn't work, then I'll be playing the Spray Fin as another elusive blocker. Um... So this is worth it against Pale Cascade. If I just go immediately to challenge. And I just challenge these two, then they could Pale Cascade their Sparkle Fly and block my Ledros. You know, Pale Cascade or something that just buffs it up, you know, like a repost. I don't want them to be able to just do that and then Challenge the, the Ledros. Okay. Alright, so we got a win against that Fiora Zoe deck. And against a good hand, too. They had Fiora on turn three with a good amount of protection. But I think my opponent, and they had a second Fiora also. 
I think my opponent, uh, you know, like they focused on buffing up like that lifesteal elusive, and I think maybe they should have focused on buffing up Fiora. But they could have really been worried about their life total because I had the good aggressive start with the seven attack on turn two. Yeah, but there we go. All right, so we, we ended up getting a win there in that matchup, and we ended up getting a three and two record in ranked with our Brunch and Munch deck. That's pretty impressive. You know, like we uh, got a nice winning record. Um, possession was just amazing for us being able to steal their thing um, and then sacrifice it with butcher or glimpse beyond or stealing their thing with the vulnerable with higher gun was really cool that vladimir game taking their 12-1 because they have you know like they have the 7-6 vladimir that regenerates that's a really difficult card to deal with and then of course it it does the damage to all their own things it um it drains our life total when it attacks that's a really difficult card to deal with but we got to use Hired Gun with their 12-1, um, give that vulnerable. Or so, so, Sorry, sorry. we use Possession first to steal the 12-1. That's what we did. We steal, uh, steal the 12-1 with the, follow, the enemy follower, and then play Hired Gun, give the Vladimir vulnerable, and then have their own 12-1 challenge their own Vladimir. And we got to just take out both of them. So basically, for because then we keep our 2-3 Hired Gun in play. So just for one one spell for five mana, we got to take out their Vladimir and their 12-1. That was really cool. Ancient Crocolith did some cool things. It was it was pretty good. Um, you know, Blighted, Blighted Caretaker, Curse Keeper, just always awesome. And I loved the card advantage that we had in this deck. That was actually really impressive. We were drawing a lot of cards between Glimpse Beyond drawing cards, Stalking Shadows drawing cards, and then Sprayfin. You know, some, you know, either getting Bayou Brunch or getting those two and drawing more cards for us. You know, like the uh, the Stalking Shadows plus Zap Sprayfin combo is incredible. You know, like if you Stalking Shadows and you grab Sprayfin, now you have two Sprayfins. And then those two Sprayfins, you know, can grab you more Stalking Shadows or Glimpse Beyonds and just get you more cards. That's a really wonderful combo, those two together. All right, there we go. That was our deck, Brunch and Munch. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck or anything else, what you want to see on stream, anything like that. Love seeing those comments. But that's all I got here for Brunch and Munch. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.